Hello, my loves. Welcome to your love reading. So I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. All right, my loves. Let's see what we have here for Sagittarius. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Holy Spirit, angel spirits, and guides, clarity, guidance, love messages for my beautiful Sagittarians, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for my beautiful Sagittarians, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages, please, for Sagittarius, please. Holy Spirit, angel spirits, and guides. Page of Cups popped out, guys. Clarity, and the Magician, Virgo, Gemini, Energy, Clarity, Guidance, Love Messages for my Sagittarians, please. What do my Sagittarians need to know today, please, Spirit? Clarity, Guidance, Love Messages, please. Clarity, Guidance, Love Messages for my Sagittarians, please. Okay. Under the deck, we have the Lover's Card, Gemini, Energy. So we have the Four of Wands. We have the Five of Wands in the reverse. We have the Five of Swords. And we have the Ace of Wands. Okay. So, Sag, what I'm feeling here, this could be your side, this could be your person's side, okay? I feel like there was a fight that broke out here. Um, either there was a fight that broke out here or there was some form of competition or jealousy. Like someone here had to make a decision on who they wanted to commit to, okay? The Four of Wands talks about commitment. It talks about getting engaged, getting married, moving in with somebody, uh, twin flame, perfect counterpart. And with the Five of Wands in the reverse, there's an energy of somebody here needing to choose, needing to cut out the competition, needing to walk away from something with the five of swords okay um i feel here that there was someone new in the picture that felt that they could take over something that's what i'm getting here i feel like either there was someone new or uh, i don't know either it could have been someone from the past that came back around or it could have been someone new here that felt like they had more that felt like they could take somebody away from a family like uh, or not even just a family, like a relationship. Like, let's just say we have a couple. There was an outside person that felt like they could come in and take up that man or woman away from that relationship. That's actually what I'm feeling here, okay? With the lover's card, you know, because the lover's card is Adam, Eve, and then there's a snake there. I feel like someone felt like they could come in between this connection, Sag, okay? So let's see what we have here. Clarity. Oh, okay. Oh, four of wands again, Sag. Okay. So this could be a very strong soul tie connection. Uh, it could be that you're engaged to get married to this person. You're living with this person. You're married to this person. You have children with this person, but it is a very strong soul tie connection. Tell me about the five of wands in the reverse. I feel like this person, yeah, eight of wands energy. I feel like someone here had a lot to say or was chasing a situation, but they were no competition at all compared to what this connection had, okay? But I feel like this person, lover's card under the deck again, tried. Like this person maybe played a lot of mind games or tried to sabotage a connection. It's like someone here is trying to rip a relationship apart. Tell me about the five of, of swords energy here, please. Five of swords energy and the two of cups. You see what I'm saying? Someone here is trying to sabotage a connection and it is a very strong soul tie connection. So, um, again, you know, Sag, this, the, this could be you that's trying to sabotage your connection or Sag, someone can be trying to sabotage your connection. Tell me about the ace of wands, please. We've got the five of swords in the reverse. So we've got five, five, five. 
Five of Wands, Five of Swords, and the Five of Swords in the reverse. They're going to lose. This person will be defeated, okay? This person will be defeated, and this side is the side of the person that's losing. The person here that's trying to destroy a connection, the home wrecker, let's just say. Nine of Swords energy. I feel like someone here put a lot of work into this, Nine of Swords energy. This person is acting this way, though, out of a place of fear, anxiety. You know, maybe someone here got used as a one-night stand. They got upset. They got mad. And they tried to sabotage their connection. That's, you know, that's one scenario. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, you know, or I don't know why, but someone here would wants to sabotage a connection. All right. But I mean, this person is suffering whatever reason, you know, when they say hurt people, hurt people, right? This person is suffering. So even though someone here is trying to destroy a connection, I feel like, so let's just say, Saj, someone is trying to hurt your relationship. I feel like spirit is saying to have compassion for the person because they are going through something of their own, right? You know what I'm saying? Which is, you know, hard to do. So it's, it's a lot to ask, but I feel like spirit needs someone to know that like this person has their own suffering and that's why they act the way they act. Okay. So let's see here. <clears throat> spirit, clarity, guidance, love messages, clarity, guidance, love messages for my Sagittarians, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Sagittarians, please. Okay. Under the deck, we've got the Page of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. We have the Empress in the reverse. We have the Eight of Swords. We have the Judgment card, Sagittarian energy. And we've got the Knight of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. So, Sag, this may very well be a situation where someone cheated, had a one night stand. This one night stand is upset and hurt and trying to like cause a scene. Okay. Because what I'm seeing here, okay, what I'm seeing here is, um, I feel like with the Empress card in the reverse, someone here has nothing left to give to a situation. With the Eight of Swords energy, the Eight of Swords energy is having that mental torture of knowing that something is happening behind your back. Um, with the Judgment card and the Knight of Wands, I feel like the person on this side is making a final decision that someone is just a player. That whatever promises this person makes, they end up just fizzling out, okay? With the Death card here, here, scorpionic energy. I feel like someone's feelings or emotions have changed, okay? Like someone here is saying, you know what? I'm done believing this. I'm done trusting this. I know that, you know, whatever. It's like a final judgment call is being made here and you are a player or you are someone who is non-committal, okay? Now, this could also be an energy of someone here claiming to be pregnant when they are not trying to um, get a second chance or trying to be chosen by a knight of wands. So that is for somebody. So this third party energy may be coming in with this eight of swords energy trying to trap somebody saying they're pregnant when they're not so that this person makes the decision to choose them. That may be an, an issue too. Okay, so let's see here. Tell me about the Empress card in the reverse. The Tower, Aries, Scorpionic Energy. Tell me about the Eight of Swords and the Six of Cups. This is something that may have happened before in the past, Sag, and it's like you can't get it on, like whoever's on this side hasn't forgotten that this has happened in the past. And someone saying, you know what, this is the last time you do this to me. Tell me about the judgment card, please. Whoa. 
Six of Wands in the reverse. I feel like someone's making a final decision with the Six of Wands in the reverse, that there is no victory here. That It's like a, an energy of being embarrassed because this is an energy of being prideful. This is an energy of being proud of who you're with. And someone is making a judgment call because they, they have been completely and thoroughly embarrassed. I feel like I feel like the truth is coming out here that someone has cheated with a third party and there's a sense of embarrassment or shame. Not really shame. Yes, yeah, see a truth is coming out here. With the Ten of Wands, someone is giving up. I don't want to say shame, but just embarrassment. Like someone here I feel was publicly embarrassed. And there's a final judgment call of that's it, you're just non-committal, and that's it. Tell me about the Knight of Wands energy. Yeah, Ace of Wands. Someone here consistently speaks to new people or has one night stands or pursues one night stands with the Strength card under the deck and the Knight of Swords. This is someone who quite possibly makes very impulsive decisions, very reckless decisions. They don't know how to control their lust or their passion. Um, and I feel that the person on this side is like, you know what? This has happened one too many times. I have got nothing more to give to the situation. Um... I feel like someone here maybe be may, might be hearing news that somebody got a third party pregnant and the third party lost the child or somebody here possibly is losing a child when they receive this news from the stress of the situation. That's only for maybe like one person. Okay, that's not going to resonate with everybody. But ultimately, I feel like someone is just allowing this tower to fall. Now, again, I don't necessarily see the relationship ending as of right now. I just feel like someone is saying, Saying, you know what? I've got nothing left to give to this. I, I I don't see victory with you. I feel disgusted with the situation. I'm embarrassed because you constantly run off to, to new people. Or it could be that the person on this side is now taking off to cheat too. It could be that this person does revenge cheat. You know, there may be revenge cheating here. Where this person takes off and goes to find somebody new to sleep with too. So let's see here. Tell me about the challenge here for Sagittarius, please. Nine of Pentacles, Virgo Energy. Okay. So we've got Nine of Pentacles, Virgo Energy, Free Empress Energy. We've got the Fool card, Aries Energy, and we've got the Emperor in the reverse, Taurus Energy. Lover's card under the deck. Okay. So, Sag, I feel like, yeah, someone here may pull away. There may be an ending here. So, either there's an ending or you stay with this person and you guys kind of have like this open relationship or separated relationship because the Nine of Pentacles talks about being independent, not needing anybody. The Fool card talks about somebody taking a leap of faith or a risk or just going out to have a good time. The Emperor in the reverse is someone who's non committal, someone who can't um, control themselves or someone here that's very controlling or just very angry, maybe emotional outbursts. I feel like, I honestly, I'm feeling like revenge cheating. I feel like someone's taking control of the situation and saying, you know what? Anything you can do, I can do better. Like, this is the kind of energy that I'm feeling. I'm feeling like a truth comes out and, and like everything hits the fan. And this person's like, you know what? If you want to go out and play, I can go out and play too. So, Sag, there's this energy of, you know, payback is a, you know, B-I-T-C-H, right? So, let's see here. Clarity, guidance, love messages. Tell me about the outcome here for Sagittarius. Tell me about the outcome here for Sagittarius. Ooh. Okay. Um... King of Pentacles in the reverse, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, Seven of Cups in the reverse, and the Strength card, Leo energy. Okay, so here's what's happening, Sag. I feel like someone here is going to give this impression of being non-committal. With the Seven of Cups in the reverse and the Strength card here, Leo energy, I feel like someone here may date or someone here is going to give the impression that they are cheating or talking to someone else. But with the Strength card, they may not go all the way and sleep with somebody, okay? So it's like giving somebody a taste of their own medicine, giving them the taste of their, like, but it's not going to be as dramatic because I feel like someone here may have actually slept with someone else or went too far with someone else. And now this person is trying to give this person a taste of their own medicine. But with the Seven of Cups in the reverse, 
these are options that are not really viable options with the strength card it's like someone here may date but it's like we're not going to go you're not like a real option to me do you see what i'm saying I, i'm not i'm only gonna take this so far i'm not actually going to pursue something with you but with the king of pentacles and the reverse energy there is a level of non-committing so someone here may actually go out let's say to a bar and start flirting with someone else or go on a date with someone else but it may not get serious it may not be like to the level of cheating or like you know sleeping with somebody type of deal but someone here is going to give so this person a taste of their own medicine because they've had enough okay clarity guidance and love messages for sagittarius here what advice do we have here for my sagittarians please okay so we have the temple path we have first chakra archangel michael and we've got the angel of balance. So I feel like the advice here, yeah, I feel like the advice here, guys, is to take the high road, to be stable, to try to be level-headed, because someone here, you know, it's, it's going to be like a tower. Someone here is embarrassed, and it's kind of like an energy of this has happened, you know, one too many times, and someone really wants to, like, get back at the person kind of energy but i feel like the advice here is to try to take the high road try to be stable try to be level-headed even though with contract in the underneath the deck it's not fair even though it's not fair clarity guidance love messages for my sagittarians please what advice do we have here for my sagittarians we've got friends and colleagues we have commitment And we've got dark thoughts. Okay, so what's going to happen here, Sag, is with present power, you're going to have friends and colleagues. Like, let's just say, you know, on this side is someone, okay, I don't know. Let's just say, you know, someone's boyfriend or girlfriend cheats or some type of drama breaks out and you go to your friends and your family or you're talking to a coworker about it and your friends, family, coworkers are like, oh, well, he ain't, you know, nothing. She ain't nothing. Leave him. Do this. Do that. You know, you're going to have outside people putting dark crap in your head. Go out, cheat, go date, go do this, go do that. Like you're going to have people getting involved in this connection because it's embarrassing. Like this person has you know they didn't do right by you Saj or you didn't do right by somebody so we've got a lot of outside people getting in between this commitment okay coming into this relationship putting a lot of darkness so a decision has to be made you're going to have an angel and a devil on your shoulder here Saj and someone has to choose you know yeah see back and forth someone here is, is going to be you know a little bit like what do I do do I go cheat do I go out you know how do I show this person how do I teach them a lesson you know what I'm saying how do i teach them a lesson okay let's see here spirit clarity guidance love messages for my sagittarians we've got worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life clarity guidance love messages for sagittarius chemistry you are magnetically attracted. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. And we've got forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So again, Sag, there's this energy of spirit telling you to wait for divine timing. Um, I feel like you love this person. You're attracted to this person. You seem to always spiritually come back together with this person. And again, we've got that four of wands there twice. This could be twin flame. It is a divine counterpart. With the two of cups here very strong soul tie energy but spirit is saying to forgive you know whatever is happening here take the high road and forgive because divine timing is at work so the the divine is on your side there's no you know the bible verse comes to mind um you know i know not everyone is christian and that's fine but you know in the christian bible it states do not seek revenge leave room for the wrath of god i feel like the message here sag is don't take things into your own hands let the divine handle it okay because divine timing is at work in this connection um obviously you have free will do whatever it is that you want to do but i feel like spirit is telling you don't let outsiders interfere don't let outsiders put crap into your head don't let outsiders get involved in your relationship take the high road go towards forgiveness and divine timing will be on your side but you know again you're gonna do whatever you gotta do sag okay free will is free will all right i love you guys and i will see you soon bye